So, uh, are you gonna make love to me now? I don't make love. I fuck. Hard. That's actually di actual dialogue from the movie. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, I've seen Fifty Shades of Grey. I wanted to see it with all this hype. This hula, whatever, uh, what this whole, you know, thing was all about. Because I never read the books. Uh, I've heard that it's a naughty movie, or naughty book. Um, and, you know, it was a big hit. Um, fans of the book loved it for the most part, and everyone else hated it. So, I wanted to see what the whole... What, what is the whole Fifty Shades phenomenon about? And to be honest, it's not much. I mean, everybody makes a big deal about the uh, sex scenes, but they're not even that graphic. They're not even graphic at all uh, when it comes to just, like, uh, mainstream Hollywood sex scenes. For an R-rated movie, it's, it's what you expect, except with just some spanky spanky. Um... The movie was surprisingly campy, uh, but not in a good way. It's in a kind of an annoying way. Well, so you pretty much, you know, uh, if you don't know the story, it's pretty much about a girl. Uh, I, don't forget, I don't remember her name. Um, uh, I know the actor's name is Dakota Johnson, I believe. Um, yeah, but she plays a girl who... Uh, is uh, is taking the spot for a friend who was supposed to interview this guy, and the guy she's interviewing is uh, Christian Gray, who owns a company. And um, she's like the goody two shoe kind of girl, and she walks into the office, and the first thing she does is fall down. Whoops, she's clumsy. Uh, and then she's ask asking him questions, and they um have chemistry together but to be honest um there wasn't I, I didn't think it was um it was just her acting awkward and shy and just him acting creepy because all he does is just it is kind of like twilight fan fiction i guess i mean he just she's awkward and he just stares at her like twilight um and she starts liking him um for whatever reason before she even finds out uh who he really is. Um, like there's weird scenes. Um, um, throughout the beginning of the movie. Where she's working. She's working at the. At a. Uh, what are you. God where the hell was she working at. Uh, at a store. Or whatever. And he's there. Um, it's like he appears. Kind of like in a stalker. Kind of way. And he ask, he's asking for things. Uh, a hardware store. This is short now. A hardware store. He's, he's asking for like things. And um, he pretty much asks her out. Asks her, ask her out. He asks her. I can't even fucking talk. He. You know they're talking. Blah blah. blah. They go on. On a date. I, I think. I'm quite not sure. Um. And this is like the first like 30, 35 minutes is pretty slow and boring. There not not much happens. They you know, she sees him, she sees him, um, she talks to, uh, to her friend about him, uh, she's really into him. Um and then one thing one thing leads to another, she's at his um at his apartment and um uh, and then he tells her about him. And then that's you get the scene, uh, the dialogue that I mentioned before. Like I don't make love, I fuck hard. Um, and like he tells, <laughs> it's kind of this. This part actually kind of made me chuckle. He tells, you know, she tells him that she's a virgin. He's like, what? You really? It's like he's surprised, and. uh and then he, he shows her, like, all this stuff, whips and shit. Uh, and then, you know, they have sex. Uh, not much to it, just like a normal Hollywood sex scene. A normal Hollywood rated R sex scene is like, okay. 
um, it's not graphic. Um, and then there's another scene where he takes her on on his helicopter ride, um, and she's like, "Ooh, whatever." Um, and then he tells her about the contract, and if you know the story, like there's a con he wants her to agree to a contract be, uh, to do all these things because he, he he's not into normal relationships. He he fucks women and he whips them, whatever dominates them, uh, and that's it. And that he doesn't actually sleep with them. He says that's not what I do. And of course, she doesn't want she she doesn't want that. But yes, yeah, she keeps going back to him because she's in love, and she can't leave him. Yes, yeah, she doesn't want to do this. But every time she goes back to him, she lets him dominate her. I'm like, where's your self respect? And like, there's moments where like she sort of agrees, but she doesn't sign the contract. And then, and then he says, okay, but uh, you have. To to call me sir, and if you do something I don't like, like bite your lip, you're biting your lip again. I'll spank you. And there's a part where they're at her place, I think, and then she does something he doesn't like, and then he just like, he bends over and spanks her a bit. Um, yes, sir. I won't do that again, sir. <coughs> Spanking. Um, and I guess this is the most famous scene of the of the book. I'm not sure. It was the closest to being graphic, but it really wasn't much. I mean, he he ties her up. She's standing up. She's completely naked. You do see her breast from time to time in the movie, but you never see her um, her pussy. Um, he has the little little thing to whip her with. He whips her shoulder, I believe, and her ass. And then her pussy, uh, but you don't really see it. You see, it's shot in an angle where you don't really see it. Um, it's not a, um, it's not a full frontal angle. Um, but and that's it, like you know. Um, and there's some other scenes where she's tied up in the bed, and uh, he's giving her oral oral pleasure, and I, I think he. Whips her too in that scene. Um, yeah, but then again, she's like, I'm not sure about this. I mean, why can't we just, you know, sleep normal, like normal people? He's like, I don't do that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the only real conflict that's going on. Them going back and forth. Where it's, oh, I really want to dominate you. But you, you, don't, have, you don't have to. You don't want to. And she's like, I love you. I don't really like this, but I'll do it. I'll do it anyway. I won't sign the contract. Yeah, at the end of the day, she doesn't really sign the contract anyway. Um, and then there's another fucking scene, uh, which is so campy, where they're they're having dinner with his family. And then she mentions uh, uh, to uh, to the guy's uh, mother, um, "Oh, my mom, uh, she is on vacation. I'm gonna go visit her this weekend." And then he gets all pissy and says, "You you didn't mention that to me." How come you didn't say anything? And then, of course, and then he takes her outside, carries her, and smacks her. It's like, bad girl. You mm -mm, should have told me. You should have told me what. You should have told me your plans. Bad girl, spank your ass. Yeah, that's and it's like done in a really campy way. And of course, she she does like a normal person would say, "Stop doing that. Uh, I'm out of here." But no, she stays, and they talk, and blah, blah, blah. And then he also mentions some of his backstory, where uh, the reason why he likes to do this, because uh, a woman he knew when he was, like, 15 did that to him, and they're still friends, whatever. So he pretty much was abused, technically. Um, so that's why he's doing what he's doing. Um, but then it's never really brought up again. Or it is, but it, it's that is not um, wrapped up in a way. I guess for I guess it will be in the sequel. I don't really give a crap. But for all the hype they had, um, when it's not when it, 
when it's just normal scenes where it has nothing to do with you know the sex scenes or the whipping scenes or whatever, it's boring and it's campy. And when you do get to the scenes, the scenes that everybody's talking about, there's just not nothing much to them. It's like okay, they have sex. It's not graphic. Um, and all he does is just whip her a bit. I mean, okay, it's okay. That's not really. Uh, everyone keeps saying it's it's like a soft core porn. Well, not even. You know, this is super, super, super soft porn. It's not even. I wouldn't even consider it porn or whatever. It's just another Hollywood movie that just happens to have a little more sex than usual. I mean, that's it. Not much to it. Uh, but I, I I didn't care for the movie. Uh, like I said, it was extremely campy. It was. Mostly boring, and it it tried to be arousing, but it really wasn't. I didn't really, I didn't think it was. There's nothing really uh, arousing about dominance and I'll whip you and spank you or whatever. Um, but it was just pretty mediocre. Um, a lot of times it's pretty bad. Cause some of the acting was pretty bad, I'll say, especially from the the guy who plays Christian Grey. He was he came off creepy, and then um, there was nothing about him that made you believe that she would fall in love with him, other than she just doesn't give a crap about her um, dignity. I guess I don't know, but um, I didn't give a crap about their love story. But Fifty Shades of Grey isn't, it was so overhyped, it, it's nothing, it's, what, like, why were people really talking about this movie, like, it was, like, a big, huge deal, like, oh my god, it's groundbreaking, it's not even groundbreaking, in that way, when it comes to the sex scenes and shit, it was pretty stupid, um, it's mostly a stupid movie, so whatever, um, but it don't have, end up together at the end, um, they have, they have that shot where she leaves his place and the other door closes. Oh my god. I don't give a crap. Um, but anyway. Um, if you've seen Fifty Shades of Grey, um, what'd you think of it? Um, I would... I didn't give a crap about it. Um, so, um, there's that. Um, and I'm... And for the... And the only reason I watched because of all this hype and... And that's it, like really. So I'm not even gonna bother watching the the uh, the sequels if they ever make them. Yeah, I guess they will. They made money. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you thought about Fifty Shades of Grey. Did you like it? You didn't like it, whatever. Uh, but thanks for watching and uh, adios.